Welcome or welcome back to my channel, The Theoretical Doctor Audio Blogs. In this video, I will be sharing my overall reflection of the second posting in my housemanship journey, the obstetrics and gynecology posting. The link to the article of this audio blog is available in the description below if you would prefer to read on it instead. Otherwise, let's begin. Upon writing this article, I am now in the third posting. So far, I have completed the orthopedics posting and obstetric and gynecology ONG posting and currently I am in the pediatrics posting day 280 of my housemanship journey very soon I would have completed a year of my house officer training time certainly does fly by rather quickly however if there is any posting that I am very glad to be done with it is sadly the ONG posting entering the ONG department came by a total surprise as I I initially applied for medical posting. Somehow, I was the only one out of my group of friends to have gone down a different road. Was it a blessing in disguise? Perhaps. During my tagging period in ONG, we had no off days. However, the good side of it was that we only worked from 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. for a.m. shift and 7 p.m. till 7 a.m. for p.m. or night shift. I entered the posting rather hopeful and enthusiastic as I would be closer to my dear good friend Wei Shen. However, since it is a new department, it took me some time to get used to. The nurses in the ONG department were mostly friendly and I find myself closer to the nurses compared to the others. They were kind, helpful, and my partners in crime. There were also multiple other medical officers and specialists who were extremely kind and patient in terms of showing me the ropes. This is something that I will forever be thankful for. Most of the time, I held on to them, mainly to protect myself. And also if I knew that it would be a good day, despite the place flooding with patients. However, amidst all that, this was also the posting where I had little interest in studying. Going back from work was all I looked forward to while I was at work and I dreaded going to work in the morning. Hence, my efforts were always the bare minimum. Sadly, it is a posting that I do not desire to repeat. The environment did not feel suitable for me despite having a number of good and kind and encouraging bosses around. Surprisingly, I exceeded the posting on time because I was behind on my assessment and logbook. Ironically, it was a posting that I was disinterested in and yet somehow, I took my time in completing my logbook and assessment. Thankfully, I exited on time. The obstetric and gynecology ONG posting was interesting and personally, I partly wish that I had more interest to know more and had pushed myself to learn and read more rather than just doing the bare minimum. However, there is also a part of me that is relieved and glad to be true with the short journey in this posting. If you are due to experience the ONG posting, my only advice is to stay strong and positive. On most days, it will be difficult, but try to tune out the noises and actions that hurt you and hold on to your friends and kind souls. You'll be over it soon, but who knows, for you may even enjoy it yourself. Thank you for listening to this audio blog. Do stay tuned for more, which will be available every Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Remember to click on the subscribe button as well as the bell button so you won't miss out on any upcoming audio blogs.